that's the first time for me we've been running about 20 of these pumps the same pump around 20 of them for, for the last 10 years I want to say and that's the first one that just decided to break the, uh, the ceramic rod rod just broke off so this uh, the rotor was spinning inside the cavity and got damaged heat up that uh, plastic part has warped and the metal uh, ring that held this uh, support in place inside there, inside the cavity even that broke anyhow that's why the pump was kicking out the GFCI outlet I thought it was just simply ground fall but it was not just a ground fall it was probably heating up like crazy but anyhow I just wanted to talk to, to tell you about this pump it's Aquascape pump Aquasoge 5000 360 watt and it produces at zero ahead 5300 gallons an hour at 5 to 10 feet it's about 5000 gallons an hour and that's been our favorite pump that we have been using and that's the first one out of 20 that uh, that broke down like that I don't know what caused the caused the ceramic rod to break of course that's the way it sits inside But anyhow, this is toast. I'm pretty sure the cavity is also damaged. I could just replace the the support and the impeller assembly, but from so much rubbing and heating, I'm pretty sure the inside of the pump is, is toast also. It's a good pump, it's... What was it? We bought them about 10 years ago. It was a great deal, about 280 dollars each for 20 pumps. Back then, the normal price was about 350. So today, I don't know, it's like 450, 500 dollars for these pumps. I'm gonna have to look for them anyway to see what they cost today. As you saw, the pump needs replacement. I haven't bought anything yet to replace it. I want to find the same pump because I really like them one for 20 in uh, in 10 years of continuous operating is not that bad but we'll see they should be running like 25 years but almost all uh, even re reliable pumps have a rate of failing of about 1% or so or a few percent usually covered by the extent by the uh, warranty of five to seven years but we're way out of warranty already anyhow everybody seems to be doing okay this has uh, been three days or this is a fourth day after the cleaning of the sump the serious is this three tanks the two forty five hundred gallon and the 1800 gallon but all that is still okay I gotta take him out of there before Arapaima kill him trying to eat him or take out the Arapaima and put him in the 25 I'm just so uh, undecisive right now which way to go keep waiting for something to prod me I guess so losing a little dot would be horrible 
and I don't want such pulp as that. Okay, so this is the 1800, the 1800 gallon, no changes here, all the same stock. The water is getting better, less and less yellow every day, as the original well water is getting washed out. Yes, you monstrosities. I fed them already today, so they have, they have good, good stomachs. You're safe for now. This dad was donated by Matthew Long. I don't know, Matthew, if you're watching, that's, that's your little guy. Very beautiful, but not growing, almost. This, this month will be a year since you gave them to us, and I don't know if you put on another inch. He doesn't want to take pellets. He only wants to little pieces of fish. So he's a bit picky. So this level is a little lower because one pump broke. When we hook it up again, the water will go up a little bit by a few inches. to clean the glass too, it looks a little hazy in some spots. Cleaning that 15,000 gallon sump was, boy, was it hard on my body. I, I'm getting old for this. Still must be done. But it was, I was half dead after this for a day or two. Or rather, half alive. And I really need to be doing this probably, I need to start doing it quarterly, every quarter, or at least every half year. Because for half a year, for the, all the feces, all the stool that collects in the, in the sump, it's not going anywhere. So there's the same water. The fish are sharing the water with the stool for, for months on end, for, for half a year, for a year. And then no wonder I have sometimes problems because the bacterial count gets so high. Never have a problem with pH or anything like that because it's well buffered and a lot of water gets flushed through, as I've said a thousand times before. 100% water change in about a week of medium hardness and medium carbonate hardness. Water coming in, so that's that's a very good buffer for the pH. Our pH is usually seven to seven point four, but the bacterial count is what would what gets it. And then saprolegnia, the fungus, that's usually a help in the in the tank because it gets gets rid of the dead tissue and necrotizing tissue on fish. If it, if a fish has any injuries or abrasions or whatnot but that fungus feeds on the bacteria also not only on the tissue and when there is too much too much bacteria there is too much saprolegnia in the water column and in, on the walls everywhere and they start attacking healthy tissue on healthy fish So that's why I need to start cleaning the, the sump more often 
more frequently. I also think that was the problem with a lot of the smaller fish we lost because this system of the six tanks on the sump I dropped the ball on it it really needed the cleaning about half a year ago or more so a lot of this uh, deaths that we experienced which wasn't that many but we did ex get some losses I guess I can blame on the on my slack of maintenance and the saprolegnia I don't know if you can see that but that's I think this is a saprolegnia fungus on the on the still surviving on the glass I don't know if you are able to see it it's little slimy tufts swaying in the current So I cleaned all the sumps, as you know, on this on this bank of six tanks, and on the two banks of of these two tanks each. So all of them are clean now. Makes me happy. And the big sump is clean also. The only other filter we have is the 25,000 gallon, but that has a shower tower that gets. Uh, that has a mat on the top on top of it that collects a, uh, a lot of dirt or all the dirt and I have to vacuum it any anywhere from once daily to once two three days depending how quickly it get it, the mat is plugged up with detrit detritus okay so that's our little update on the cleaning and how the fish are doing